Hello. Oh, I'm live. <laughs> Don't you love that? Okay. So let me go to my Facebook page and make sure this is showing here and it's not showing anywhere else because this is an embarrassing topic, is it not? Um, okay. So literally I have to tell you this story. I had a mastermind, an in-person mastermind meeting this morning. I drank a lot of water, a lot of coffee, came back, went straight onto a call with a coach that I um, love, that I really resonate with. And I won it. I won this opportunity. And I kid you not, I had to pee so badly, so badly that I was in physical pain. Now, I'm like a major, major proponent of honoring your body, right? Like, honor your body. Honor your body, honor your body, honor your body. So one of my big practices to honor my body is like, if I have to go to the bathroom, go to the bathroom. Except I'd won this call. And here's this amazing opportunity to talk to this coach. And I'm like, I can just make it. I can make it. I can hold it. And then, you know that times, like, you probably don't remember this since you were little, but, like, when it hurts so badly, you're like, I might actually pee myself? I had to face that. I did not. By the way, I did not pee myself. That's the question we all want to know. I did not actually pee myself, but I made the decision that I would so that I would stay in the room with this coach. Now, there's a lot of people who are like, oh, well, if you really wanted something, you'd invest $100,000. If you really wanted something, you'd go into debt. If you really wanted something, you'd do this, this, and this. Those things, especially the financial ones, they don't resonate with me because starving is never good, right? Like putting yourself in a position that's uncomfortable, that has benefits, but sometimes the areas that you want to get uncomfortable in, can you hear me? Oh, shoot. I just realized all this time I had headphones on. Uncomfortable in? Can you hear me? Okay, you can oh, hear me. Shoot. So I just realized all the time I had headphones. Oops, now we're listening to me. Um, okay. <laughs> Getting uncomfortable is one thing. And this is like such a mimic. And the reason I'm sharing this story is not because this is a pleasant story for me to share, because it's quite embarrassing to tell you that as a 36, almost 37 year old woman, I actually decided that I would sit here in this chair and urinate myself instead of getting off a call. I'm glad I didn't, but I want to share. Like, that's not a fun story to share, so why would I share it? Because I realized that it mimics life. It mimics life when we have something happen, and then we're like, nope, I got to go do this thing. Nope, I'm sorry, I'm distracted. I have to get out of this environment. Nope, I've got to go fix this thing over here, because I can't focus over here. I've got to go fix this thing over here, right? So here I was in this incredible amount of physical discomfort. And physical discomfort is the number one thing that we try to change. Like as soon as you're in pain, we shift, right? Oh, my shoulder hurts, so I'm going to rub it and move it. Or, you know, oh, my legs hurt, so let me cross them the other way. Or my hand hurts, so I'm going to rub it. Like we immediately go to fix pain. Immediate. Our immediate reaction is get me out of pain, fix it. On a mental, emotional level, we have pain, we eat. We have pain, we go outside. Pain, we turn on TV. Let me pick a fight and on. You know, like we, um, we take ourselves out of pain as fast as we can. But there's a benefit to being in discomfort because when we sit through discomfort, we get something on the other side of it. So here I was in this real life example of incredible physical discomfort and I had to make a value judgment. Do I, do I choose to put the call on hold and go to the bathroom? Or do I stay here? And 99.9% .9 of the time, I would say, excuse me, I have to go to the bathroom. I'm going to burst, right? Because I, I want to honor my body. I don't want to put my body through anything traumatic or painful. So 99.9% .9 of the time, I'm going to choose that. This moment, I thought, there's something bigger here for me. I'm going to stay. I'm going to stay. I'm going to stay. I'm going to stay. Whew, that was hard because I wasn't as focused and I wasn't as this. And I was like, here's another lesson. Here's this incredible physical thing calling my attention away from this opportunity. How much do I do that in my life? That I have an opportunity that comes up and I'm like, oh, well, but I really should focus over here. How often do I distract myself from what I really need to be doing? Or where the growth really is, right? So... This was like, I was just like, there's so much in this. There's so much in this of, can we stay put through the pain? Can we stay put through the desire to fix and relieve pain? Because that's so powerful. That is where we get to something on the other side. We get to realizations. We get to truth. We get to opportunities. You know, maybe I wouldn't have gotten out of the call what I got if I decided to put it on hold. Maybe we would have been like, oh, well, then we should wrap up early, you know, because you got you got to go. Like, Maybe I wouldn't have gotten the same thing 
And by being in that moment, I got to deal with all the metaphor of fear and all the metaphor of, um, you know, just all the desire to make things feel better, which is, we talk about this in yoga all the time. The more we sit still in a pose, the more we're going to learn about our life. Because it's only by sitting still in a pose that we feel the desire to move. You know, if you flow through everything, if you're constantly moving through your sun salutations and you're constantly moving through your yoga practice and you're constantly shifting from one practice to the next, you never get the opportunity to face how much you don't want to be there. You never get to face, wow, this hurts. This is too hard. Wait, I could go deeper. I don't want to go deeper. That hurts. I'm afraid of that. What if my legs give out? I don't know if I'm strong enough for that. We don't get to that level. If we don't stay put, if we don't face that fear flat in the face. So that's why, you know, people say, well, I don't like to sit and meditate. You sit and meditate because you don't like it, right? I'm not saying torture yourself. I'm not saying hold in your pee because that's really bad for you, right? But every now and then we have to face discomfort and we have to hold in discomfort to get to the other side, to learn the lesson that's in it, to, to just understand that our fear is only what it is. And by coming away from the fear, we're not doing ourselves any favors. Like we have to stay there. We have to stay there in that moment. And we have to learn. We have to learn about what it takes and learn about the courage of being uncomfortable with our own selves or in a metaphorical context, uncomfortable with our own truth. Because who wants to meditate and face sadness, shame, fear, anger, perhaps the vision of yourself as incredibly capable and like all the full of potential. And yet we don't live that and we don't take action on it. People don't want to face that. I know I, I struggle, right? Like I struggle with meditating just as much as anybody else because, oh my God, I sit down on that mat and everything becomes clear and true. And then I'm like, well, that was easy. What's the story for? But the story is easy. The story is every day I get up and I struggle. And every day I get up and I have this issue. And every day I get up and I have to deal with that. And same old, same old, same old. That's easy. That's like watching your favorite show over and over and over. And that's easier than finding a new show, isn't it? So it's like we sit. We got to sit with that pain. We got to sit with that discomfort. So just think like you don't hold your pee in. Like don't do it the way I did it today. But think about where can you sit and allow yourself to be more uncomfortable to get to the other side. Like, what do you value more than discomfort? Because I valued that call more than I valued the embarrassment of as an adult peeing myself, which I did not, to clarify, I did not. But I made the decision that I would because I valued the growth that's gonna come from this call even more. I don't think I've ever made that decision before in my life. I can't remember ever doing that. I don't think I'll ever do it again. But I really, truly valued that call so much that I was like, if it's got to happen, it's got to happen. And it did not. <laughs> it did not. Um, but, you know, so what are you, if you value something so much, why are you avoiding it? Why are you distracting yourself from it? Why are you, like, turning away, you know? Where do you need to sit a little longer and be uncomfortable and push through it? All right. Short message, I got a client call. Love you guys. Mwah.